So giant cell arteritis. So the older term for this is temporal arteritis. Yeah. So you know people have kind of shied away from using that term, even though that's the most common artery that's involved, right? You can have it multiple. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Why not just call it by the way what that you'll is? remember it? <laughs> so in fact, if we take a look at this picture, right. that goes hand in hand with uh, where the pathology is or where the, this particular uh, problem is. So we talk about uh, it's a you know granulomatous uh, disease that we see in in uh, multiple different vessels. Again, temporal artery is yeah. like the most common. Vasculitis. One. Yep. Right. So it's the most common vasculitis that we see uh, in adults. So actually, so symptoms patients can get with this. Of course, they get a headache yeah. because they got this big old throbbing blood vessel on the side. That's inflamed, yeah. <laughs> right. And then people also talk about like jaw claudication. Yeah. There can be, you know, multiple different uh, symptoms that, that can be associated with this. And one of the key ones, though, that is the major one we're concerned about oftentimes is blindness. Yeah. So you can end up with an uh, impact or an impact of this disease that affects a, a vision. So patients can end up with some degree of visual changes, you know, beforehand uh, or as a, as a part of the uh, symptom complex. We talked about amaurosis fugax or fugax is yeah. another way that you can pronounce sure. that uh, term. So that's classically uh, associated um, uh, with this. So with the visual loss is like the key thing to be aware of in this circumstance because it's a, a treatable uh, process. The, then the deal is you want to intervene on this uh, sooner than later. Yeah, that temporal artery is what uh, the vasculitis affects the end artery branches that supply the, the eye. Itself. Exactly. And so right, you, right. it's irreversible damage, but you can prevent it. The way I remember it is the rule of 50s because oh, right. uh, giant cell arteritis is really, really uncommon in people less than the age of 50. And so the rule of 50s is you have to be at least 50. It's not a hard and fast rule, but at least 50. And then your ESR is usually greater than 50 is diagnostic right. for a screening test at least. And then if you have a new onset headache in a person older than 50 with an ESR greater than 50, then you want to be considering temporal arteritis or giant cell arteritis. And then you give them a stress test steroid of 50 milligrams for an adult-ish, so the rule of 50s. And then while they wait for their temporal artery biopsy to confirm it. Right. Um, but here in the picture, you can see temporal beading. You can see beads with uh, nodularity and enlargement sure. of the temporal artery um, in a person who's clearly over the age of 50. So. And that's how I remember it. All right, Jack Claudication. Rule of 50s. I like it.